What's going on everybody? Well, welcome back to the Discus Tank build. What is that? Why do I keep... So today we're going to be adding the discus. I've been really looking forward to this. The tank is ready. Well, the tank's almost ready. So I'm going to do a nice big water change. And also, I think when I fill it back up, I'm going to get the temperature of the tap to sort of almost the temperature that we want it to be because it's going to take ages to heat up. Otherwise, it just take like all day. Also, you might notice there's a slight curling on the perspex. Now, everyone said that would happen. I am expecting it. But so far, that's where it stayed after a day so so yeah if that's like the maximum it does just at the edges up a little bit like that then i'll be well happy maybe it won't maybe it'll keep going either way like i've done before cut holes for the inlet and outlet right in the center so i can flip it around at any point if i'm having to do that every day or so then there's no point in that i'm probably just going to change it but so far so good So I just checked the temperature and it's almost exactly the same. The two tanks are it's like half a degree and it or something like that. So we're all good. Also I added the chlorinator to the water and even chucked in some beneficial bacteria because why not? <laughs> and thank you very much, little temporary filters. You have done your job excellently, but you need to come out now because you are ugly. <laughs> Sorry, no, I didn't mean that. What, what am I feeling about it? It's a filter. <laughs> Yeah, I would recommend doing that with a jug in the future and not spilling water all over your expensive gimbal. <laughs> Right guys, I'm taking your filter out. No funny business, please. I'm gonna take the lid off. Don't jump, don't do anything stupid. I'm just, beck, please, I'll give you a good feed as well. A good, especially you, look, I can see you. I can see you eyeing up the pipe. Why are you looking at the pipe? What are you doing, pal? Hey, hey, what am I doing? <laughs> So just in case anyone's wondering, you have to lift the pipework out of the water to be able to unplug it here and let the water in the hose drain off. If you don't take it out and you just unplug it there, then the water just keeps coming out. And how do I know this, you may ask? It's because I've got water everywhere before from doing it without pulling out the water first. Okay, that's one down, one to go. I'm telling you, this is a lot more hard work than it looks. <laughs> I'm sweating. You don't need to know that, do you? <laughs> right, there we go, guys. Lid on, filters are both running, so I've aimed this one at the front and that one at the back, so we'll get that nice rotational flow. I might need to add in a power head at some point. I did have one before, but don't think I'm going to need to, not with the Corys, and I don't know, I just, we'll just see, we'll see how it goes, maybe I do, maybe I don't, it won't hurt just to put one in if I need to, there's a nice little space for it in this section here that could just blow nicely across the front and just get some flow going, so that'll be good, but yeah, lid off obviously, and now I'm going to put in the discus straight away, first of all, so a few people said that you should only move them by hand, not the nets, um, I just don't feel confident doing that, I think I'm gonna cause less damage potentially by using the net than if I try and carry them and drop them. They're so strong, they flap everywhere. It's not like a little goldfish. They go absolutely nuts and I just don't have the experience with it. If I was like overhanging a big pool of water, fair enough, but I just think it's safer. Like use the big net I've got and I've got the method now a lot better. So just to scoop them in with it, it should go really smoothly. There we go, see that worked absolutely perfect. So the trick I made there was just to lift the back end as it goes in. Oh wow, look how stunning that bad boy looks in there. Well, I need to get arrested. 
Success. Straight away stop being dark as well. Look at that. And like I say guys, all the temperatures are matching. And the final one, she's an absolute beauty, or he. There we go, look at that, nice and easy. No harm caused, the fish look amazing! Oh my goodness, are you actually kidding me? Look how good they look. And straight away, the blues have gone properly blue. Look at that, they look stunning. They were dark, there's no stress. Everything looks so good. They pop so much in this tank as well. I'm loving it. So space-wise, let's come down the side to see how much swim room they've got. Absolutely tons. So it goes all the way back. And they're going to come in amongst all of this as well. So they'll find their own little territories. Oh, so good. Love it. Absolutely love it. Look at that. Gorgeous. Right. Corey time. <laughs> go look Corey's straight down onto the sand they seem to absolutely love it some people might be worried about the more coarser pieces there hurting their barbells or something but apparently this is actually very similar to the sands they'll experience in the Amazon for instance and you know it's not it's rounded gravel isn't it so look we're all good hello you seem content <laughs> Siamese algae eaters look they've just gone back there just stand still at the moment probably a bit spooked as well have to say that overall that seemed to be an ma <laughs> hello <laughs> Oh yes, the Cory seem to be absolutely loving it straight away. They're everywhere. So look, there's some at the back. They're all exploring, looking good. The Siamese algae eaters straight away, tearing around looking for some algae. They won't be able to get any off the plants, but the wood will have loads that they can pick out just until over the next few days you see, oh, hello, sorry guys. Over the next few days, um, the, the tank will start to get sort of first signs of algae it's inevitable it will always happen in a new setup it will start to get some diatom algae which is like that brownie sort of gunky stuff the the Siamese algae eaters will eat all of that hopefully anyway so as many of you who watch the channel will know my discus are not shy at all they're very social kind of fish which apparently is quite rare for discus but i guess it's because i'm always here i'm always close to them they know me so every time i go anywhere near the tank they want feeding so it doesn't matter where i go in the tank or where I go near the tank, they'll come over to me, see? It's actually really nice. There they are, look, they're all piled in at the front, but they could go anywhere. So I've already just sat back for a while and watched while I'm sat down editing, which is over here. So I'll sit down over here like this, and I've been seeing them going in and out of that back section already. It's only when I come up to film that they all come forward. <laughs> just be normal, just like, just, just be normal fish. Stop performing for the camera, please. But look how good those blues look, look at that. Is it turquoise? Sorry, turquoise. I, I should know the proper name, shouldn't I? <laughs> blue. They're blue. Blue and orange. And I always call this one pigeon. I think that's right. Hello, pigeon. <laughs> yeah, so glad I've changed everything up. The colours on the fish look so, so good. I couldn't be happier. The plants aren't massively popping at the moment, but that's, again, they're new. They need to grow in and mature, that kind of thing, thicken out, and that should start to look really good as well. So now that these guys are all settled, we need to not forget about one other special character, do we? Yes, of course, we are talking about you, Ember. Let's get you back into your original tank, which is currently empty.
Yeah, so there's no heaters in that tank or that tank. It's all just room temperature, which is why we're able to just transfer straight across and straight away Ember's completely happy. <laughs> but this is not going to be for long. We're going to do a really cool setup for you. Hopefully find you some friends as well, Ember. So just be a little bit patient and you're going to have something awesome. Awesome.